You wanna dominate your shoulder with only two exercises and none of them are presses? Watch this video right now. That's right, I said it, no pressing. Absolutely no presses to dominate your shoulders. Like how the heck can you do that? I'm gonna show you guys how to do it effectively, but definitely not easier. It's just gonna be more efficient. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna do a dumbbell lateral raise seated with a little caveat, a little mechanical breakdown of standing a little bit of a sway cheat-ish lateral raise. And then we're gonna finish off with doing some cable, or if you don't have a cable, you can do barbell upright rows, drop set with that. So let's go over some technique and cues, and I'm going over, over this one over here, and I ain't getting none of these ones. If you head over to the heavier dumbbells with the, what I just said, you've already lost the plot. I'm going over here and grabbing these 17s. It's because you, you're not on anything anymore, Johnny. You're getting weaker. Nah, I ain't it. I'm just still trying to be efficient because you're gonna only need this when I tell you how to do this. All right, number one, we're sitting, we're making this hard, we're gonna isolate that much more. When we're standing, we have more hips. A little bit of a sway here we're gonna use, but that makes a big difference. It makes a big difference. So we're doing these guys seated to take the hips out of the equation. No swinging. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what most of you guys might do or see. We have this, very popular. We have this. Very popular. We have this. Very good, we're getting close, right? We have probably this, probably this, and probably this. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna make sure that we do this rep so it looks like this. The 17s, but not that heavy. 17 and a half, or heavy, whatever. We're gonna be here, feet are on the ground. Kind of like just in a great position, so if I need to kind of stand up, I can stand up there they're gonna be shoulders apart, not like this, because I'm not trying to dodge my shoulders, even though I'm going to the, to the side, but we're just not gonna be like this, all right? We're gonna be like this, nice and uniform. A chest up, shoulders back away from your ears, like so. Weights are naturally hanging down from here, I'm from here, and all I'm doing is I'm going all the way out, like I'm trying to touch the side of the room to here. That's where my rep is going. Let me do that again for you guys, and get my editor to pause it. So from there, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. We're going from here, all the way to here, and then all the way back down. Do that again. I'm not going to the side, I'm not making a T, so I'm like back like this and pinching my shoulder blades. I have a little bit of an angle out this way, but it's coming up to here. And you can see that I can control this weight. I'm telling you right now, I could probably do 22 pounds like this, because that's the rule. And that's how we're making this hard as hell. We're gonna be strict. We're here to here. Your rep is gonna look like this. Like that. Not, oh, we're not doing this. That's what rep is gonna look like. And then when you're like, holy sh Johnny, what the heck? I've been saying this all day, all week. Every time I do one of these things, you're like, Johnny, I hate you, but I love you. Cause the pump is so good. Once you can't get the full rep, cause you literally can't, we're gonna stand up. We're gonna do a mechanical breakdown and we're gonna use a little bit of those hips again. I'm not gonna use a lot of hips, so I'm not gonna sit there dry hump in the air. We're gonna use a little bit of hips. Weight's gonna stay in the front here and we're gonna a little bit of rock, right? Almost like you're doing a kettlebell swing, but we're not literally, we're not doing this. Please don't do this and be like, Johnny said do this. We're doing a little bit of a rock from here to help us get up. Then what we're gonna do with that is, we're using momentum to get us more reps. And then that rep isn't gonna be you trying to pull the rep up with your traps, you're gonna try and touch the back of your fist to the side of each side of the room. There's only two sides. We try and touch both those sides. You're reaching out. So we're here and we're up. And we're just, just to here. And we're just pushing out. We're pushing out. And that's what the rep's gonna look like after you've failed at the first 10 to 15 reps of doing them strict. That's your drop set. 10 to 15 reps to here, boom. I don't need a 1,001, 1,002, don't do that. I want to full up and then 1,001 stretch, stretch. And then you're like, ah, oh. then once you feel you're like, you're, you have to do this to get it up, you're gonna be like, shit. You're gonna get up, take a couple seconds to catch your breath, and then you're gonna go here and just push out. You're gonna push out. The reason why we're doing a little bit of a lean is because I want a little bit of a stretch at the bottom here. If I'm here, I'm just kind of like throwing it out. I want a little bit of a lean hinge from here and we're throwing it out. I'm trying to throw my shoulders out my elbow out and my fist out. I'm kind of like reaching like this, but I'm not, I'm doing this. So that's what I want to do. I want to lengthen the shit out of my arm. That's the first exercise. When we're done there and you're like, you gotta be kidding me. You only need two exercises. We're gonna go over this bad boy here and we're doing upright rows. Upright rows is the same, we did it before. So from here, you can use a longer bar if you have one. 
We're basically going from here. There's gonna be tension on this guy here. Elbows are shooting out, chest is staying up. So we're here, here, and right to the nose. And see how my, everything's in the same plane, like I'm up here, I'm not like this, I'm not like this. Everything's coming up at the same time, we're all up. And then we're controlling it down. Stretching it all out, like I'm pushing it away, because that's what we're doing, we're pushing shit away. And we're up, then down. Stretch, up, thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, boom. And that's how the rep looks. You're doing 10 to 15 reps from there, then you're doing a drop set of 10 to 15 reps again. We're gonna take these sets, this one to like two reps from failure. RPE of eight or an RIR of two. The first set, you're taking your set to failure and you're taking your mechanical drop set to a RPE of eight or an RIR of two. You're going to fail for sure doing these reps. That's gonna be an indicator of when you start your drop set. So I'm gonna do this for you guys and we're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna be cursing myself this entire time. Let's get into it. Green light, use the straps. This is when you wanna use straps. You wanna use straps when you know you're gonna be pushing some reps, some volume, and we don't have time for our forearm to start being a little bitch, right? So we're gonna put some straps on if you have to. If you're worried about your grip strength, do your first set without straps, and then add your straps when you realize, damn, John, you're right. I'm gonna put straps on now. All right, let's go, pray for me. This is what I actually do. I make up workouts for myself, and then once they're written down, I have to do them. Then I'm like, what are you thinking? This is where I'm at right now. This is exactly what I feel. It's 15 and I know I got more, so I'm going to 20. And then next set, I'm gonna go up. lesson learned here we are okay oh. all right I'm here and then out Lesson learned, so I did exactly what I'm gonna give you advice to do. If you underestimate your strength, or whatever it is, and you realize you can do more than 15, go until you are at failure, and then adjust your weight in the next set, so you can you know, get into that rep range. Now, you can easily do 15 to 20 reps. You just have to adjust your weight accordingly. That's basically it. So again, when we're doing these, full range of motion all the way up, oh geez, and down, and then again, when we get up, we're not trying to pull us all the way to the roof. We're trying to push it away. Trying to touch each side of the room the entire time. We're gonna rest at least, at least two and a half minutes. You're doing a drop set and take you a little longer to recover, right? If you're doing a regular straight set, it'll probably take you a little less to recover. So give yourself two and a half minutes. You should be good by then, and then we're gonna start all over again. All right, so change weight. We're at 25 pounds for my second set. Guys, we're taking these to four hard sets. You're doing four hard sets of this, and you're doing four hard sets of exercise. That's eight total sets today for that one exercise. All right, here we go.
it. Catch your breath. Get a drink of water. Whatever it is. Let yourself rest thoroughly. Because we're basically doing the next exercise. Right now. Let's go. Hey, what's up guys? My Iron Shepherd's Iron Beanies are out right now in camel, charcoal, and gray. And they're moving fast. So guys, hit the link in the description below and get yours now. Okay, quick review on technique. We are going to completely and fully lengthen this exercise with our shoulder. So what I mean by that is, once we've got all the way up, we're gonna start from the base, right? From here, my chest is gonna be up, but I'm gonna be pushing to the floor. You can see how I'm pushing a bit and I get a little bit of like chest activation, right? Just gonna help with that shoulder depression a bit, right, pushing down. So at the bottom of my rep, I look like this, and then I'm pulling, everything's coming up. Chest is up, elbows are out, chest is up, all the way to here, controlling it from here, down, stretch, up. Stretch, up. Now, when we do this too, I don't want this. Please don't do this. Don't do this. This hurts. Don't, keep the butt back. Right, athletic position, feet about hip width apart. Be in an athletic position here, so when I'm pulling up, I'm behind the weight. I'm sitting behind, right? We're pulling up. We're not doing this. Keep your butt back. Not locked out. Soft knees, athletic knees. Again, we're gonna do, we're gonna do five to 15 reps. Reason being is because we're going to ride this negative on the way down, whether you have a barbell or cable we're gonna use that negative coming all the way down, stretch up, so three second negative. That's what I'm saying, five to 15 reps, right? Five reps, if that three second negative, one second positive, and one second hold the bottom, that's five reps. Five seconds, that's 25 seconds for only five reps. That's pretty long. That makes sense, meaning you should be able to do at least five reps, but those five reps should not be easy as hell either. So if you got five reps and you get to 15, you're like, I can do way more, we're not lowering the weight just so we can do really good form, right? We're lowering the weight that's gonna allow us to challenge the shit out of our muscle, bring us to some level of exhaustion, but it does not contradict my form. Here we go. We're doing five to 15 reps, three second negative, stretch at the bottom, then we're doing a drop that weight about 30%, a good chunk. Not 50%, drop about like 20 to 30%. Here we go. Drop it down. Same tempo, same form, zero momentum. As you guys watch, I got no momentum. Everything's coming right from my core, from floor to core, chest up here. Again, we're coming to a two RR or an eight RPE. So we're not taking these to failure. I don't want you here wrenching the weight up and just uh, doing this in the end. I want you to take completely and utterly controlling every part of the lift. So for the bottom, I'm pushing away, pulling up elbows are coming up, chest is coming up. Everything is rising up, pulling at the same time. I'm getting leverage from here. I am pulling, so you should, you should feel weight pulling from here at the same time as your elbow going up, 
right? That's what we're doing. We're doing this. Elbows going up. We're doing a bad dumbbell lateral raise, right? Think of that. But I don't want the elbow to drop at the bottom. So I want the elbow to keep, to stay up because that's what we're engaging is here, right? This is a great all around delt exercise. A little more for front and, you know, lateral head, the rear, not as much. You get a little bit of pinching on the way back and pulling back, but we're mostly going like this. This weight is going like this, not this. The difference between doing this or doing this. That's basically like the orientation of where we have this. If we're back this way, pulling this way, yes, we're getting a lot of rear delt. But as soon as we're close and we're going this way, the rear delt's not being challenged as much because the weight's going this way. It's not going this way. Makes sense. All right, we're gonna rest up. We're good to go. Next set. Let's go. exercises for shoulders without doing any pressing. I didn't believe it, could you? When you do this, you'll get it. So guys, just to review, first exercise is seated dumbbell ladder raises over the shoulder height up to here, controlling the weight, stretching the bottom, 10 to 15 reps to failure. And then you're gonna stand up for a mechanical drop set, have a little bit of sway of the hips, pushing the weight out, ladder raises again, and then doing that four times, four times. And then from there, we're gonna go to here, like you just saw, cable upright rows with the easy bar, or you can use a barbell, same thing. Five to 15 reps, three second negative, stretch to the bottom. You're gonna get to around eight RPE or a two RAR, and you're gonna drop it about 20 to 30%. You're gonna finish off, same thing, two IR or eight RPE. And that's your full workout. All right, guys, so let me know if you guys give this a try in the comment section below. For more videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, you know how it is. Iron Shepherds Iron, progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.